It's Wednesday, May 8th here in Seoul. I'm Oh Jin Ju and you're watching Korea Now. Today is Parents' Day here in Korea, but for disgraced K-pop star Seungmi, well, what a way to celebrate the day. Police have filed an arrest warrant for former Big Bang member Seungmi. The 29-year-old is facing charges of offering prostitution services to potential foreign investors and embezzling funds from a nightclub embroiled in drug and sex scandals. Authorities were originally planning to seek an arrest warrant for him last week, but extra investigation into his alleged embezzlement took them some time to do so. President Moon Jae-in and his American counterpart Donald Trump have discussed ways to prevent North Korea from veering off the track of denuclearization dialogue and to resume talks with the regime as soon as possible. During a 35-minute phone call Tuesday, according to South Korea's presidential spokesperson, the two leaders saw eye to eye on the need to maintain the momentum for talks with Pyongyang, despite a recent escalation in tension on the peninsula following the North's test firing of a number of short-range projectiles off its east coast last week. The phone talks come three days after the weapons test and is the first direct communication between the two leaders since their summit at the White House early April. And during their phone conversation, President Trump is also known to have expressed support for South Korea's possible humanitarian food assistance for North Korea. Asiana Airlines, South Korea's second biggest carrier, will streamline its international routes and stop operating first-class cabins in September to cut costs ahead of its planned sales. The troubled company announced Tuesday that it will suspend operations of the non-profitable routes from Incheon to Khabarovsk and Sakhalin in Russia and Delhi in India starting July 8, earlier than its originally scheduled September. What are called business suite cabins will replace the outgoing first-class cabins at prices 30 to 40 percent lower than the fare set for the top-class seats starting September 1st. And those were the top stories for today. You can always check the full-length articles on our official website. And don't forget to subscribe to Korea Now for your daily news feed.